Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. I'm the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we started exploring the Silver Road, and we have made it to almost in front of the boss fight, we just have to make it past this screen. Um, I just looted an attack three quarts, so I might as well equip that on um, Joshua. And now let us continue. This area has been quite tough. This is gonna be a Templar sword for Reese, right? Obtained Zilvan. What? This seems familiar, somehow. Is something wrong, Reese? No, not at all. I thought I may have seen this weapon somewhere before, but it must have been my imagination. It certainly seems like a capable one, though, so I think I'll use it all, all the same. Big surprise, big surprise. Uh, Zeptium Nuit has 300 damage, range 2. Zilvan has 500 damage, range 3, arts plus 50. Not that I ever use arts with her. But very nice, very nice still. Talk to the chest. Here's a crossbow for a cross, bro! Ah, ha, ha. I don't actually have a crossbow for you, father. Sorry. Well, look at you. Hi. You're the one enemy I can preemptively strike. Preemptively? Is that a word? I did not mean to attack that guy. Ah. Ah. Can you hit two guys? I wish you could. Very nice. How much damage is that? Yep, that's good damage. On me, with a Divalia song. Ouch, ouch. Excuse me? What? It... It has a 10% death blow chance, and it procced twice? Excuse me? <laughs> it said it heals to That was not fear, okay? It was not. It just wasn't. That is not all right. No! God damn it. Okay. Okay, Eric, Eric, calm down. Good lord, calm down. Oh, I'm gonna go mad. I kinda need to take a sip of my tea now. So, um... Let me summarize this situation for you. Uh, a second ago, I was in a pretty good position. I had two ass breakers that could have uh, saved my bacon during the boss fight that's gonna come next. Um, pretty good health situation, pretty good EP situation. And um, one ridiculously low chance or low probability event happened. And then I was so mad that I misclicked and used my ass breaker on Josette as well. And now all of all of the good things we had are dust. Well, 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 that could have gone better. Hell, let's eat a couple of health items. Egg, salad, sandwich. Hey, Reese, you like eating? Cures freeze. I don't care. Learned extra spicy fries. Fresh water cures KO. I'm gonna keep that in my inventory. Cures faint sleep petrify. Faint sleep and confusion on the smelling salts. I have 19 of those, so this is absolutely okay. Use that on Josh. Fishy finale. Strength boost, defense boost, speed boost, cures zeal. What cures zeal up here? This one, purging bomb, 24 of those. 
So that's that uh, relief is also not particularly worth. Miso fish heals a lot of health. Miso fish and a Mars Spiritus I'm gonna keep. And Cures Petrify I can also eat on Josh. Alright, now I have a couple of recipes here. Not that I can craft particularly many. Because they're expensive and not particularly worthwhile. Oops, too many bees. That's an enemy. Oh, Stinger M. That's an enemy I cannot preemptively strike, unfortunately. Hey, yo. A military grade orbital gun from Rainfort. Small in size, like the Derringer. Unfortunately, it does drop my range. Juggernaut has 400. Stinger has 500. But 100 damage is 100 damage. Can't, can't deny that. 4 out of 36. It is yet to be spoken of in legend, for its mother was a modest carpenter who carved it with no other purpose than to hold a confession. It was never meant for a grand display, but for a quiet, sincere love. Oh, I wish I wouldn't drop my pen. Well, my concentration certainly dropped after I ate that ciabatta bread. For whatever reason, episode 30. All right, and my nose is running, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna clear my nose, actually. I'm sorry, this is gonna take a while and probably sound not so great. All right, I don't know how that sounded. But please do not let me know because I don't want to know and I'm probably gonna forget in five minutes, so that's all good. <clears throat> Alright, I wrote this down and you're not gonna get... You're not gonna get surprised. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with that guy. Um... So... So... <clears throat> we have problems. You can attack that guy. Nice range. Take him out. I don't know what those mon- or what those guys do, but I wanna not have it happen. You can take- you can run for your life. In this direction. And you use arts. What is the highest... Okay, fine. I'm gonna do dark matter on this big guy so he gets taken out immediately. Yep, true speed. True speed again. Enlightenment failed. Oh, what a poor fella. Leap upon? That had impede on it! Mmm. Mmm. He knew that was he was almost about to get killed. He knew. Fear, fear. All is fear. That's gonna take forever now. Anything quicker? No? Okay. If you say so. I should not have shot at that guy with Josette. You are correct. Take this guy out. Meditating again? You guys just can't get enough of those juicy boosts, huh? Perfection? What? Craft guard? Okay. Uh, excuse me, who has that faint that that death round? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Oh, nice.
When I cannot use CP in, for, for, in before the boss. I can't. Craft guard. Are you kidding me? Blue ascension. You're gonna get it, son. Wait, craft guard? Is that arts guard as well? I wish I wasn't fainted. So that wasn't enough. Well, we'll see if that's Arts Guard as well. Now the guard is gone anyways. Oh, more perfection, huh? Whew. This round is wasted as well. This was rough. Stat debuffs are not cool. Not cool, I say. And faint really, really blows. Handy. Handy is what the Germans call their cell phones. Handy is not how that fight played out. Alright, you reviving bomb. An empty coffer, devoid of any treasure. Go seek another. Hi. I wish I had an ass breaker right now. I wish I had an ass breaker, but I don't. Oh, this fight though. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna blow. Well, if I go here, I no, if I put no, she's gonna get put to sleep. Ugh, I'm just gonna put Reese right here and hope that everybody gets to attack her. Or I could have just... No, she didn't have 50 CP a second ago. I could not have transferred the CP. Let's clock up. Dark matter doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. I just don't have the CP to support all this. Ooh, we are getting death rounds! Not that they're gonna be particularly useful, but... We are getting death rounds. Oh, well, no, that, um, not, not cool. Please hit. No. Please move. Yes. Goodbye. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Well, what do you know? That was a lot of CP gained. I will run no more. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Nice. Not done yet. All right. Well, good that I saved up those CP for the boss. Very good thinking on my part, I know. But but look at this. Look at this though. It was all worth. Juicy bone purging, uh, juicy bone purging bomb, savory pinion, insulating tape, smelling salts, nothing good. Nothing good can come of this, Eric. Please do restore my stuff. EP cut three. Does Chloe have EP cut three? 
You have EP card one. <laughs> it's gonna happen at least once more. It's gonna happen at least once more. Okay, I'm gonna create an EP card three. I know it costs a shit ton of time. I can't live without one. I can't. I can't. We are going to equip that on. Wait, who did? What was I just on? Who had EP card one? Joshua, Chloe, why do you have the same hair color? Enlighten me, please. Ah, oh, there goes clock down. Oh, yeah. You do not have EP cut. Chaos brand. I want range two. But, but the thing is, between wanting and being able to have it, uh... There's a very, very large difference. What's my stat looking like? I have cast two equipped. Uh, cast one equipped. So we're gonna create another cast two because time Zebeth is my like my favorite thing. Yes. Movement three. Not worth, not worth. I, I'm i very, very rarely in the position where I can't move far enough. You get cast two, clock up X, there you go. Although that's not gonna be so stellar. Reese, you have movement one, then you get movement three. What? Wait, I didn't create movement three, I'm a moron. You have mine too, please take mine three. Chloe, I want earth on, I don't have any earth, huh? And what would I switch out for it anyways? Why do I have, well, I don't have an, a good EP gem. Do I want her mainly as a damage dealer or do I want her as a healer? Right now I want everybody to be able to cast buffs. You have clock up and you also have clock up. First round is clock up on everyone. It's all not worth. Nothing is worth. Action one. Huh. That's it. Sylvan Sting Edges. Akashic Heart has 400 strength. Akashic Heart. Damascus is 500. But... I get arts down, I mainly, I will not melee attack with Chloe here, so not worthwhile. What do you have in terms of, what's a titanium suit? 500 defense. That's plus 200 on almost every character. I rarely do this, but I did it once. I rarely do buy armor, or I have rarely bought armor in this game. Okay. Well, I guess we're as best equipped as, as we're gonna be. So, let's uh, rip this guy, uh, let's not pronounce that, but let's see what Kevin has got. Oh! Do you think that could be the exit? It certainly seems to be. I wonder if Kevin and his group are on the other side already. Speaking of which... Hmm. Ha! Looks like they're not gonna let us reach it without a fight! What? 
Kevin? Hmm. What? Kevin! What are those? What are those? Death Slugger, 17,000 HP, a tank that mows down sinners in its wake. Err, uh, do not like? That's very, very high on my do not enjoy list. Kevin question mark, 13,000 HP, a foe that looks like Kevin and attacks like Kevin, yet something doesn't feel right. Uh, okay. Okay. Clock up time. You don't have clock down. No, you do not. <laughs> not, not, not cool. How far can they move? As long as you're gonna keep missing, I'm not so scared. But the second you start, like, like fighting, um, ooh. oh, oh, snap! Oh, this is not gonna be so great, is it? I don't have that many AoE skills either, so I think those are two layers of protection he put on them. That is unfortunate. We have two characters who can cast um, speed down and I need that right now. I need speed down on every last one of those jagasses. Yeah, yeah, keep on moving. Keep on moving, please. Please, cuddle a little bit, move closer together so I don't need three clog down casts. More. Uh oh. Ouch. Well, the Kevin I used to know would have done more damage than that. Okay. Thousand Sparrows would be nice, but first I am going to melee attack Kevin. Ah, uh, it's not in the range of Thousand Sparrows. Why am I talking about Thousand Sparrows so much? Well, thing is, um, Thousand Sparrows will take all the layers, like, it's it's a good AoE skill to take away the protection they have. All right, don't. We're, it's time for a clock down. Oh, that's a happy medium right there. That's what a happy medium looks like in my opinion. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Or do I do it twice? Or it's gonna have to be three times. Ah, time for a happy medium. I don't have that yet. Do, 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 do. If I knock him in this direction, it's not gonna let him... Ah, they're not gonna get out of range either. Not that I will end up knocking him back, is what I wanted to say by that. You know. Nice. I love that those guys aren't resistant against the, uh, speed down. Hey, hey, dude. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to get down to healing duty, huh? Hey! They still have all their layers of protection. What can I hit with Thousand Sparrows? Well, three guys. Not enough. 
if I attack this guy back here. I'm gonna stand roughly in the very middle. My health situation is horrible. Can you do that on yourself? No. Would have been too easy, huh? Arc Fencer. Can I do that against... I can do that against two. Not enough. With whom do I use healing, then? With yourself? Do you use healing on yourself? Well, I think that could be the right call. Do, 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 do. Here's an evil eye that I want to see. Okay, the guard is gone. And now put out one of those hellish gates of yours. Wait, that's only able to hit two though? Oh no. Come on, move up. Yeah! Three! Three guys! Three of them! Wait, the one guy doesn't... he still has protection. Nice damage. Keep in mind those guys have 17,000 HP. Huh. Felt like pronouncing that one again. No, let's take down more... Uh, Let's try and do that. It's not going to do much damage. And someone is going to move, so it's not going to hit all those five guys, but... I'm going to try to have it be good. Well, let's take away more protection. True flicker hits... Two at most. Arts Hellgate hits three. Three is good. Three is good, though. Unfortunately, we don't have arts buffs. That would be more useful than this. Boom. Not that that does any good damage, but at least it gives her some CP. Holy moly. That does do good damage, though. This is gonna do like half, maybe 3,000? Hmm. Big maybe. And then we get Arc Fencer. I can do that, yes. No that. Time for an ass breaker. And time for tea. This fight is significantly tougher than Reese and her, her mirror, fr mirror friends. Because I had a very potent combination of party there. Because of the split up be between melee damage and ma magic damage. But this is, a, this is a little troublesome, to be honest. We took out many of the um, wagons already, which is nice. Ooh, hoo, hoo, please. Knock him back in time a little bit, too. Keep in mind, Kevin does have three phases, or two phases at least. The third one wasn't worth talking about, but... Um, well, the one before that was worth talking about.
Oh. Yes, no, you weren't. Amar Spiritus. Faint does blow. Here go all my CP too. And my speed buff and my everything. Oh. Do 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 I don't want F Kevin to go into phase two yet, because perhaps it makes him be able to cast his um, Holy Grail shenanigans again, which would be very, very much not appreciated. 6,000 HP for you. You can go ahead and melee that. Chariot, friend. Why does it always have to blow up in my face? Joshua's not doing so hot in terms of HP either. But you also have Shadow Spear. Zepeth up, yeah, who cares though? I do, but I can't right now. We have bigger fish to fry than Zepeth. We have wagons to fry. This was rough. Now it's done that those now that those five guys are gone, it's done, but But this was not not easy. At least Kevin, like I delayed him so much. He he did not only did he go back in time, no, he has not he has not been able to come back either. Maybe you can make yourself a little useful by using Soul Blur. So much magic! So apparently, attack delay stacks. Because Kevin ain't happy. Wow. His speed is so bad right now. Head is nice. have critical I'm sorry are you weak against anything ascension has the ability to seal so I might as well well let's see he's probably resisting against seal honestly and resisting against dead blow death blow hello there cool Kevin colorless Kevin Uh, your speed boost decayed. You have 20,000 as that. An imitation of Kevin keeps enemies at bay with his bowgun and support allies. Yeah, what about those support allies, though? Hey, don't don't steal my Zepeth. I don't think we actually drop Zepeth in that situation. I don't. But if so, that would be unfortunate. Did he resist death blow twice in a row? Was that what just happened? Or was that something else? Cuz resisting death blow twice in a row, impressive feat. Calder, me impressed. Oh, he's resisting against basically everything. But what he's not is good in terms of attacking. And that's what matters. Okay, one soul blur. 
Oh no, strength up round. That did it. Hey, you little thing. Give me something good, though. Give me something good. Drop? Drop? What do you give? Tier 4 quartz. A good one, please. Nice experience. Oh no, I can't drink my tea. That's too hot. Woo! Woo! Alright! Nice. Reviving bomb, tiara bomb, mind four again. Huh, I'm not gonna complain. Ah! Found ceiling stone. It looks like that's the end of this trial at least. I really wasn't expecting that to be a fiend disguised as Kevin, though. True, I wasn't. Uh... Reese? Are you alright? You weren't hurt, were you? I... I'm fine. I was just so relieved to find out that it wasn't really Kevin. Uh... And now that the fight is over, it seems clear to me that battle was a trap set by our foes. Those bizarre cannon fiends are further evidence. Let's hurry through that door. I'm quite concerned about the other group. Sh sure. Huh. She, she must have been so worried about him, huh? Yeah, perfect scenario to be able to unequip quartz is right now. But I don't think there's a second. I think we're gonna meet up now. Reese! Thank goodness! Huh, oh, yep, you're the real deal, alright. Thank I, Dios. I was worried the hell about you, you know? I could say the same to you. Still, it looks like those really must have been grimoires then. Sure does. Grimoires? It's the same... <coughs> it's the name of those fiends we encountered? Is that the name? You got it. It's a type of fiend mentioned in the testaments. Although maybe fiend isn't the best word, they are said to be what souls eventually turn into after being thrown into Jehanna. People's souls turn into... THOSE? That's not a very pleasant thought. As I'm sure you know, the church teaches that the souls of sinners end up in the fiery depths of Jehanna. There they are tormented by the ceaseless flames, slowly losing their own sense of self over time. Till finally they are said to end up as nothing more than a chaotic lump of spirit, known as a grimoire. I'm getting goosebumps just picturing it! And that's what those shape-shifting creatures we encountered were? Yes. The mirrors and cannons that appear with them are all cursed items that have the same origin. How they did it, I don't know, but it seems like our enemies have quite literally opened the gates of Jahanna. Haha, <laughs> that's quite a fitting metaphor. Hmm. That sounds like... Nice. 50-50 shot there. You again! Well, look who decided to show their ugly mug. Did that lord of yours send you to come check up on us? That is one of the rules I have been assigned, albeit not the only one. I am impressed by how quickly you've progressed, even if it was a significant amount of the hermit's guidance. The hermit? Who's that? The ghost we keep running into? I can't think of anyone else. She's been helping us in various ways since we arrived here, and yet we have still no idea who she is. Indeed, I speak of her. She is a spirit that was left behind in Phantasma, as well as the master of the Hollow Garden. Ah, uh, of course. Thanks to the Lord taking most of her power, she can do little other than struggle as your guide. Hmm. As usual, your cryptic nonsense just goes right over my head. 
But hey, if she's your enemy, that makes her our ally, right? I'll leave that for you to find out. Her position is hardly your concern at this time. I have a message for you from my lord. Your next destination is the Pass of Beasts. Devour the new offering presented to you and display your seal once more. Then shall the flames of Jehanna burn ever fiercer and my kingdom draw ever closer to its true completion. What? Huh? What is that supposed to mean? My lord says that you may choose to interpret the message however you see fit. My task was simply to relay it to you. <laughs> Kevin? Ah, sorry, couldn't help but laugh. Tell me, what sad classes did you at that joke of a boss? Did you and that joke of a boss you got ta you got take you take to get your certifications on how to be a good to be a, be a good lord? I'm gonna read that again. Just cut out those past 20 seconds of stuttering. Tell me, what sad classes did you and that joke of a boss you got ta take to get your certifications and how to be a big bad? Nice touch, trying to confuse us by spewing that cryptic bullshit too. Bet you thought we'd keep ourselves up all night trying to figure them get that gem out. I mean, the overblown theatrics make it a bit too obvious that it's a fake, don't you think? Hmm. Well, were you about done with us? If you are, how about you get lost? We've got better things to do with our time than listen to a nonsensical, to nonsensical riddles from a guy who can't even bother to show his face. <laughs> I see you're quite fond of the gift granted to you by my lord. Does it bring back memories? Gift? Kevin? Hmm. You think he can- you think you can get away? Fear not, we will encounter one another again before long. I am, after all, Phantasma's foremost guardian. <laughs> And with that, I bid you farewell. So that's the Schwarzritter you mentioned. Huh, he's the picture of his lord, right down to taunting us as he leaves. Too bad for him that it doesn't take a genius to work out that they're both bluffing. Hmm. Your next destination is the Path of Beasts. Devour the new offering presented to you and display your seal once more. Then shall the flames of Johanna burn ever fiercer and my kingdom draw closer to, closer to its true completion. His words sound as though they have some specific meaning to me, but they could be taken in, in a number of ways at face value. We could try to unravel said meaning, but that may hinder our progress more than help in the, in the long run. My thoughts exactly! Anyway, what's definitely not going to hinder us is going back to base and seeing who's in the two ceiling stones we picked up. If we activate that monument over there, we'll be able to come right back here to continue exploring later too. Thank goodness it's right here, huh? I wonder who's going to be inside of these. Chapter 3 Golden Road, Silver Road Nice picture, too. Alright, for the moment, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.